coordinator at the Earl Scruggs Center. Located in Shelby, North Carolina, the city of Pleasant Living, Earl Scruggs Center is located in Cleveland County's 1907 courthouse because Earl grew up in a community called Flint Hill, just 10 miles down the road. Opening in January of 2014, we have welcomed guests from all 50 states and over 18 countries. And today we are so happy to be able to share our rich culture and heritage with you. When guests first get to the center, they'll be welcomed in our guest services building. All guests will receive a pair of earbuds that are yours to keep. Our exhibits are very interactive and all guests need these to get a full, enjoyable experience. Before guests enter the center, they will learn how our guest services building is full of history as well. This building was once an open air warehouse in the 1800s, which made Shelby a tourist destination because of our lithium water. Welcome to the Earth Scrub Center. When guests first enter the museum, they are welcomed by our rotunda case filled with three generations of Scruggs family instruments. case they are brought into our welcome film gallery where they are shown a 13 minute video. I used to play what I call two finger style which is leading a thumb and one finger. Our first gallery on the first floor is called Indies Heels. Guests can plug in to listen to the evolution of the banjo and hear the difference. Visitors could spend hours on our Common Threads table to learn all the information that is inside. All you do is you strum the intersection, icons will appear, you click the one you want to learn more. There are pictures, videos. Texas Gladden, like her mother before her, she's singing a ballad to make the work go easy. I died, I did Documents and more to learn while on the table. Guests can join in on a picking party. They choose the instrument they would like to play and then they start to strum. With Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs reporting the theme song for the Beverly Hillbillies called The Ballad of Jack Clampett, guests can watch clips of the show on our video jukebox. Earl Scruggs made his 
historic debut on the Grand Ole Opry on December 8, 1945. The final gallery on the first floor is the Turning Road. In 2008 and 2010, before the center opened, they worked on the oral history project, gathering over 100 oral histories of people within the community. These are available on our website. The Constellations was the first interracial band in Shelby, with David Lee recording six of their hit songs. Run, run away from it uh, and use his upbringing and his traditional music as a way to hide from it. He embraced it and his music embraced it. At Banjo Breakdown, you can discover the three different styles of banjo picking. Claw hammer, two finger picking, and the three finger picking that Scruggs perfected. Visitors can plug in their earbuds and listen to the music. called He Will Set Your Fields on Fire. In this exhibit, you will not only see the piece of artwork, but watch a video of Bernie himself. After the first floor of exhibits, guests are invited to the second floor where a special exhibit gallery is located. We have two special exhibits a year, so there's always something new to see here. Our current special exhibit is Standing Her Ground, Women and Country Music. Let's take a quick peek. on your tour of the center is our education room where guests can be hands-on with string instruments like the banjo, guitar, mandolin, and ukulele, as well as percussion instruments and a DVD from David Holt that instructs you on folk rhythms. Thank you for taking this quick tour with me at the Earl Scruggs Center. We hope to see you here real soon.